I'm Marie-Charlotte Moussa and uh, I'm a painter. I come from France, but I live and work in Berlin for seven years now. For sure, Berlin has a big influence uh, on my heart. I would say at first it had a really influence um, on my way of working. I don't think it had at least the first year, I don't think it had a really big influence on the, on the subject I'm painting, but more um, to learn to be relaxed and to... It's a city where you can do whatever you want and that where judgment is not that high compared to where I come from, because in South of France, as long as you do anything a little bit different, it gets socially quite complicated but not in Berlin and then I felt the same for my art. I just came to Berlin and started to paint whatever I wanted without to think about oh but oh I will explain why I paint this or what people will think about this. I just did. So I think this was really yeah I felt a really big freedom for my heart when I arrived in Berlin. Outside of my window what I see basically every day it's uh, the former prison from the Stasi of East Germany and it's now a memorial. I think this jail um, at the beginning it was um, I mean it was there it was like really present in my head also but I I have to say I like it because I like everything linked with history and to be able to be just there actually and to be able to really see it. I mean, I, I visit this museum, I don't know, many times. Um, but it's not, it's at the beginning was heavy. You feel the past really a lot. For me, all Berlin is like this. It's like a really heavy past, often quite ugly. Um, it's the same with the architecture, it's often ugly, but just people do something on it or with it or... And it's, it's what I like here and I think it's the same with this prison and this building who was part of, like, a horrible part of his story, but um, now, like, just a lot of people come from everywhere and just doing art and... And for me, it's actually exactly what Berlin is. My subject is mostly uh, about uh, human, humanity and body. I did paint a lot of uh, portrait or even nudes. Um, and lately I have been a bit switching more on the subject of animals and nature. Uh, and uh, I also yeah, was exploring a bit this relationship between us and animals and um, this uh, nightlife that we kind of don't know, you know, like what is happening when actually humans are not there. Um, but I also, I think everything I paint is also a pretext to kind of explore the way I can use uh, oil painting. And lately I have been really interested in the way to represent light. I realized that I don't need to paint that much details um, because our brain is just creating the image. They, you know, if it's missing a part of what you are representing, like your brain would just fill the hole, kind of. So photography is really important in my work. It's uh, my main uh, influence, my main inspiration. I have a really a big collection of. Um, Polaroid, old photo, or even photo from online, photo I take by myself, photo friend take, and uh, it's kind of uh, where I get my inspiration. And sometimes I find some photo who have some details that for me are extremely interesting. And I, I just um, use these details that it's light or color or motif or geometry and I just um, want to um, make it uh, more obvious in a painting and I use the painting to kind of focus on this interesting part of the photo. When I paint people it's different option. It's um, most of the time just 
a photo of people that I know. So it can be photo of a party I did or everything. And uh, what I'm looking, it's something would look natural, something like, yeah, like something that everybody experience. It's not like, I don't want like this perfect uh, model photo. I want something like, like what is actually life? What is nightlife often? I'm really interesting. What is also relationship, friendship with people. Uh, but it also happens that I have an idea really clear of what I want to paint. And then I will ask my friend to pause. And it takes a lot of time because I want them to act natural. And uh, yeah, but I'm always looking for this feeling of uh, kind of intimacy. And I like a lot when people say, oh, I have the feeling could be um, people I know or somewhere I would be, or it looked like a, a soirée I was one night. Because it's what I'm speaking about, actually, relationship between humans. I actually wanted to be a restaurateur and I worked a bit on, on this and it was really uh, my goal. Because uh, since I'm really young, I love painting. Uh, but I didn't think I had anything to say with it. Um, and I just wanted to be in contact with painting and I also was really interested by classical painting and all this Rococo or Baroque. Or, uh, and I think this has a big influence because um, in, my, in my work, I think you can still see that I have some um, rest of this. Uh, that is the technique I use where I'm trying to work on the face on more details. You have typical position of body or things like this. And I like to do a little reference to all this really classical painting. Um, but mostly because they are always in my head. I always I've like when I'm going out, when I'm with friends, sometimes they um, turn their head in a way that it remember me this really famous paint uh, painting of Ang or whatever. And I so yeah, of course, it's still there in my work because it's there in my everyday life anyway, because I have been living for classical painting most of my life since I'm six years old until now. Restoration is uh, totally trying to keep old world and wanted that they last as long as possible. And uh, I think it's something uh, really um, related to painting in general, like uh, because it's it's something who stay really long. And uh, I think it's make me feel good to think that if I'm painting a moment, then I will have it as long as I want. It will stay here and maybe even after. I think it's just probably just the ego stuff, but I think like, yeah, um, I also noticed that people love to have their portrait in painting much more than in photo sometimes because they have the feeling that then they go inside history that people will not forget them. It has something really weird with all painting, like an aura of kind of eternity or keeping something there forever.